need to talk about the Newcastle game as well. Um, just a quick one on this. We were never going to be favourites going into to that game, certainly after the first leg. And sure enough, we made it impossible for ourselves. Ben, was that completely lost in that first 20 minutes of madness? And that's it's, lost, it's lost in the first five minutes. You know, once, once an hour let, before kickoff, wasn't it? Yeah, hour before kickoff. Well, and once once we let in the goal after four minutes, we we were dead. There was no way we were going to score three goals um, up there. Bear in mind, they hadn't let in a goal for about two years or whatever. Um, Can I ping then, my neon lights for Sean Longstaff? Because yeah, think, yeah, yeah, our, our defense yeah. should have probably listened. Yeah. Yeah, we all said he was rubbish last week. Well, I said he was rubbish last week. I'll take full responsibility for I, that. I, I stand by it. <laughs> but I, 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 I regret I, nothing. I maintain that if you leave a player unmarked in the middle of your penalty area, it doesn't matter how bad he is, he will find the net. Unless it's Adam Armstrong, of course. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he had, we got back to 2-1. He had that chance to make it 2-2, which might have made it a little bit squeaky for Newcastle, but... Once that's missed, even the red card, we we didn't really do much in the second half. Newcastle sat off and um, and just managed the game, didn't they? Really, and uh, they, complaining they... about that red card was quite something, by the way. It was, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost peak Eddie Howe there, really. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping they'd appeal it because then he'd get an extra game banned, and then he then he would miss the final. But uh, but now we, we, we you know twenty minutes the game was absolutely over, and I was I was torn with the idea of switching it off and uh, all I can say is well done to the people who um, who made the trip and went up there because you could hear them they, yeah absolutely I mean you you know when you go you don't go and follow Saints away from home and have your happiness decreed by the result so even when you t- <laughs> even when you, you go to have a good time don't you so if you if you're two nil down or in effect three nil down after 20 minutes you you know to 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 keep going and 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 enjoy yourself and keep making a load of noise i thought was brilliant um and um even though we were we were pretty average even in the second half and steve some slick goals from newcastle but if you don't get the basics right then if you're not tracking your runners and stopping the crosses then you, you, you just they're there for the taking aren't they i mean those those two goals in the first half were only slick because we allowed them to be slick um, I mean, the first goal, we I think we surrendered possession three times in the space of five seconds, <laughs> um, which was quite something. Um, and then to give any Premier League player, whether they're the weak, the weak link in Newcastle's team or not, given the freedom of the penalty area. I mean, Jan, Jan Bednarek, who's supposedly big Yanny B, who, um, who Nathan wants back Bray. in the team, and um, has basically turned his back on it from six yards out. Yeah, um, he's not bothered trying to cl- trying to close the guy down. It's like, oh, that's fine. I'll I'll make myself as small as possible. Give the keeper no chance whatsoever. Um, yeah, cheers for that, uh, Jan. Well done. Um, and the second second one, yeah, it's it's quite well worked. But again, we've let we've let a runner run completely unchallenged into the penalty area, and he's got effectively a tap in. Um, it's it's just basics. Absolute basics, and we gave just continually gave the ball away in terrible areas in that first 25 minutes. And actually, Joe Linton um, getting injured was the only reason we showed any sort of life in that first half because it allowed us to um, have a bit of a discussion that over on the on the touchline, changed the formation, went to four at the back, and all of a sudden, oh look, we look we look like a functioning football team again. Mm-hmm. Who'd have seen that coming? Yeah. Um great goal by Che, to be fair to him. Um Brilliant. he can't score can't score from about eight yards out, but from twenty eight fit finds the corner. Great strike. Um a, a mate of mine said it's because he wasn't in the final third. <laughs> <laughs> so as he gets into the final third, <laughs> he's like the jigsaw. When you can see the keeper's the eyes. Box. It's just but like yeah. a shot out of frustration, wasn't Another it? Another two yards anything. further forward and it would have gone sideways or straight at the goalkeeper. But Yeah, yeah. It, it, it did feel a bit, oh, sod it, I might as well just hit this. Yeah. Um, that was a great goal. That was a great, great finish. And and it's it's the sort of goal that everybody's sort of looking at and thinking, why the hell don't you do that more often? Mm. Try shooting from distance. We we don't do it. Prow- Prowse is basically the only guy who's who's confident enough to take shots on from distance. And surprisingly enough, he's the only guy that ever scores from distance for us. I think there's a correlation there. Um, Jacob, you were there. What was the the atmosphere like? Um, can we pin it all on that that lineup, that team announcement, or did the the occasion get the better? I can imagine um, when the place is rocking just before kickoff, it, you know, it's probably quite daunting. And Alcaraz, for example, looked 
great signing in the first yeah. leg, but then he was all over the place for the second game. Do you think a few of them maybe just let the occasion get to them a bit? Maybe so. I th- the atmosphere was, was phenomenal before kickoff. To be honest, you the flags, the atm- you know, the noise. It was it was great. But you know, everyone could tell you the first twenty minutes you just got a weather of storm because as good as Newcastle fans are, they will eventually quiet down, and they don't need any encouragement. They don't it's need an any absolute, encouragement. It's an absolute myth. That Newcastle they were, fans are any good. Steve, they were the loudest. It was, ten, it was ten. It was ten minutes. Still, that, in those ten minutes, they still scored a goal. So what Southampton needed to do, they needed just to take the, the steam out of the game. They needed to calm it down, and eventually, if if you think that, Steve, they'll quiet down completely. But they, it didn't help that ultimately James went to a back five, and both of the goals. Trippy was the spare man every time because mm. everyone knows if you play a back five, you're susceptible to switch to play. You can get overloaded down both wings. Both goals come from the left with you know, with Longstaff, the third runner, the third man runner, and they're basically carbon copies. And exactly the same happened against Brentford. The, the back five only works if the midfield shuffle, shuffle across and cover with the wing backs. They didn't do that. Alcaraz, like you say, Martin, I, he he looked lost in there. I mm. I managed. I was only twenty yards away from the pitch, so you could see him. And obviously, he doesn't speak a word of English, so it, it did feel like it was a little bit me- awkward for him. Messi, um, Will Prowse was getting shifted. He was the one that kept going over to to Nathan Jones, asking him, "Where do you want me?" He played number ten, played to the right side, played in a double pivot. He seems to be going everywhere, and and Jones, you know. He, when he's when he looks lost, Chris Cohen, who normally sits next to the analyst for the first twenty minutes, is beckoned down to to come and talk to him about uh, any tactical changes he might see. And I think obviously a back four was better, but I couldn't believe how dysfunctional they looked in a back five because although it's mm. out of cha- out of possession as well, they looked awful. I remember what Carl Walker Peters got the ball, and there was no one outside of him or no one further forward, so he just had to come back. It was. It looked like they just went to a back five and had done no preparation towards it, and they just felt yeah. like such an opportunity missed. Yeah, it's absolutely. a shame, real shame. 